Any uh, update on Carmelo conditions for tomorrow? Uh, no, nah, I mean, he's questionable for tomorrow, but, you know, I mean, today would be a typical kind of recovery, you know, in between games type of day for him based on where he is. So, you know, we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Um, and I suspect he'll want to get out there. So we'll just we'll see how he is. He seems so excited to have 15 players healthy one day. Yeah, it was it was a pretty costly, uh, pretty costly game. You know, not only did we, you know, come up short, but uh, you know, had a few guys that get banged up. But um, you know, I think the guys are pretty determined to kind of, you know, get back together one final time before the All Star break and you know come out tomorrow night and, and give ourselves a chance to win, win the game. You know, we talked about. In fact, if we can win tomorrow, there'll be, you know, six of our last 12, and six and six in the last 12 games, and coming off and losing 16 on the road, that's a pretty bright spot in an otherwise rainy you know, situation. So, guys are still trying to stay positive. How's the man? Uh, he's okay. He feels a lot better today. Um, you know, we, we limited his movement today, but, um, you know, he feels okay. You know, groins are really sensitive injuries, and so we'll see how he feels tomorrow and whether or not it's you know, sore enough to have a man or out. But uh, I'm sure he'll be out there if it's humanly possible. That's the type of guy he is. Anyone else get banged up? Um, <laughs> no, I think, uh, you know, Shane got banged up a little bit, but I think he'll be fine. You know, he did most of what we did today. Um, you know, Andrea came out of it feeling pretty good, and, you know, he'll be back out there tomorrow night. And, um, you know, everybody else I think is in pretty good shape. Have you had some conversations with Amari about the future? I and mean, he's, he's talked about maybe he would want to be free and maybe play in the playoffs. He doesn't have much time left, maybe. Who knows? I mean, have you had any insight? No, we haven't spoken directly you know, about that. I've started to hear about some of that in the last uh, few days or so. And I think, you know, like I said about it before, I can't recall if someone asked me specifically about it. But, you know, those are decisions that, you know, players decide and, and management and ownership decide if that's something that they want to do. Um, I've been in that situation before as a player and for various reasons you go to management, you go to ownership and you lay out why you think you should or shouldn't and they say yes or no. And uh, you know, I think Amar's a, a smart guy, he's a veteran player and you know, I think he and the team will figure that out and you know, I'll stay focused on you know what I can control. You've done that before as a player? Yes. Is that Dallas? Uh, Utah. So yeah. they gave you your release? Yeah. But, you know, obviously uh, different circumstances, that, you know, in terms of why I was asking. But that was for your daughter? Yeah. Oh. You and Eric and Amari, you're in the last year, kind of, he had a couple tough years. It wasn't himself, obviously, with the injuries. It's kind of what you've got from him this year. Is they, I guess healthier, he's looked better most of the time. Sounds yeah. Like a leader, so. Yeah, no, he, he played a lot of games last year, you know, for the team. And I was actually, um, you know, pleasantly surprised to see the number of games he played in last year compared to what the perception is. Um, and uh, so, you know, when healthy this year, he's been great for us. And, you know, he has a presence, he has a voice. I think uh, a lot of our fans respect what he's done uh, over the years that he's been here. and. You know, some parts of this conversation are not for me. Um, as long as he's here, I, I, I've loved working with him and whatever the future holds in that regard, um, you know, I think he's been a great guy to have on our team. We played against him a lot when he was in his prime in Phoenix. When you see flashes of that, like last night, what goes through your mind? Um, I mean, I, it's not really just, you know, the flashes that, you know, remind me of, you know, how great he is. I mean, even where he is now. Uh, he can still do a lot out there on the basketball floor. And then, um, you know, I think the fact that he takes so seriously, you know, how hard he has to work just to get out there, uh, is just a great story. And so, you know, he came to this city when a lot of people didn't necessarily want to. And, uh, you know, the, the, the team's been up and down over these years, but I think he, he sees what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, I think right now he's just trying to figure out what he, what he wants to do, what's best for he and his family. Would you like to see him stay here and be a, a good influence on some younger players because of how hard he works? And... Yeah, no, I, I, I enjoy having Amari around. He's, uh, you always hear his voice, you know, he, he, 
he always has an optimistic and, and positive outlook on on life and on what's going on. And um, you know, I think he's great to have around. So it, um, you know, like I said, some of this is you know not on my desk in terms of the future. Um, but you know, if I'm privileged enough to continue to get to coach him over the long run, you know, I think he'd be great.